Welcome back to The Ed Show. This story is causing quite a stir amongst Democrats across the country. New York Senator Chuck Schumer may be next in line to become the Senate's top Democrat, but he's breaking with the White House on Iran. Schumer has come out strongly endorsing legislation introduced by Republican Senator Bob Corker in Tennessee and opposed by President Obama. Corker's Iran Nuclear Agreement Review Act would require Congress to review and approve any nuclear deal struck with Iran. Schumer co-sponsored the bill, saying that he strongly believes Congress should have the right to disapprove any agreement. The Obama administration has asked Congress to wait until after the June 30th deadline for a final agreement before voting on the legislation, saying that it could interfere with the negotiations. Corker said he plans to hold a vote in the Foreign Relations Committee on April 14th. The stakes in this deal are high and well documented in the latest trailer from Brave New Films. Joining me tonight, Robert Greenwald, director of Brave New Films and also Sirius XM radio talk show host Joe Madison. Gentlemen, great to have you, you with us tonight. Two Thank issues you. here. Mr. Greenwald, first, the product that you put together, is that an, uh, maybe an overstatement or a bridge too far? Is that really what you think it will evolve to if we don't get a deal with Iran in the short term? I think that it's very clear we have our best chance for peace, Ed, right now with diplomacy. And the fact that so many are who have convinced us that we should go to war with Iraq are now saying, yeah, we should we need to go to war with Iran or we can't trust diplomacy. Uh, you know, those who don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it. And our concern at Brave New Films and the reason we did the video is to remind people how wrong those experts have been and not to listen to them. Joe Madison, what is Senator Schumer's motivation for breaking with the president on this? Why not give negotiations the full-throated effort here? And here's, as I see it, Senator Schumer really giving the Republicans ammunition to set the table and a foundation to oppose any deal that the president might be able to achieve, which is simply historic. How do you read this? Well, especially when you don't even know what is in the deal. Remember, this is a framework uh, they have until June 30th to put the deal together. I think Schumer, quite honestly, might be, as we used to say in the Midwest, maybe filling his oats a little bit, trying to establish himself as an independent leader, as a member of Congress. But you are 100 percent right, Ed. He's providing cover for the Republicans who aren't doing this for any uh, legitimate reason other than to, quite honestly, say the president is, is not capable of negotiation. Well, there's going to be plenty of time for Schumer and any plenty other Democrat time. to jump in and say, hey, wait a minute, don't do this. Why help the Republicans, who have not been President Obama's ally on anything, to, I mean, I have to question where's his loyalty? Is and, it to Benjamin and, Netanyahu or is it to the president of the United States? It's a well, rather it should, odd move, as I see it. Not only should it be to the president of the United States, but it should be to the United States of America. The president clearly is doing what he thinks is in the best interest of this country. Even Netanyahu admitted that in his statement just a couple of days yeah. ago. Well, so, yeah, I, so I think this also is. gives a, a Democrats the signal, it's okay to oppose the president. No, the president needs his party right now. This is a historic opportunity. No one thought, you see, I think the, Robert Greenwald, I thought, I think the Republicans never thought it would get this close. And now that it's there, they are scrambling big time. And I, I think your work is very profound and to the point that it could evolve to that because rhetoric gets carried away and people start believing this stuff. How, how much of a sales uh, how much of a push do you think the president has to make on this at this point with this backdrop? 
Well, I think he's going to have to make a significant push. And Great let's push. all think about this for a minute. The military-industrial congressional complex is so strong around war issues that the president of the United States is the underdog when he's trying to make a deal that would provide a safer Iran, an Iran without nuclear weapons. That's quite an extraordinary thought, Ed. And again, we need to take a pause. Think of the number of lives, through over 300,000 people killed in those wars. Yeah. How many families would give anything to have that, their, those people back? And here we are, President Kerry doing everything to make a deal, and the neocons and the war hawks never say we made a mistake, never say we're sorry, but they're out there loudly, cheering loudly again. The other thing, as far as the legislation is concerned, and Joe, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I don't recall any track record that's been laid out by Bob Corker, who's the chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, that he's ever been any real ally or supporter with President Obama on anything. No, not yet. And, and so th th this is a, a, a fight. I mean, you got war or peace. What do you want? And I and and what really also bothers me, and let's go back to this. Both are are, are on the wrong side of, of of the public. Look, when every poll you've taken, every poll that I've taken, every poll that we've seen has said that the American people are with the president of the United States on this. And yeah. so here we go again. And I think you hear the same thing that I hear, Ed. Sometimes the worst enemy that the president has is the people in his own party. And darn it, it's about time that they simply stand with this president because the reality is that if they want Hillary Clinton to be president of the United States, she has already said this is a good deal. So now Schumer is not only against Obama, but he's against probably the future nominee for his party. And let me point out in a very fair manner, Back in 2007, when Barack Obama said that this is what he wanted to accomplish with the Iranians, Hillary Clinton said he was naive. I mean, it's amazing what you can achieve when you're at the negotiating table. And I do not think that John Kerry or Barack Obama would undersell this country's security just to get a deal. And I think that this whole thing is about keeping President Obama from having a big foreign policy success, and they certainly don't want to let that happen. I mean, Lindsey Graham's out there this weekend saying, well, anybody do a better deal than Obama. Anybody. Well, it's anybody well. but Obama is where they are right now. Robert Greenwald, Joe Madison, great to have both of you with us tonight. Appreciate your time.